I'm going to play Second Breakfast, challenge number 37. Second Breakfast is part of Card Talk, a show that likes to talk a little about cards. And the host of Second Breakfast is Micah Klontz, and he chooses two random restrictions for your deck, and then he picks a random quest to encourage people to play with new cards and new quests. The most recent talked about cards on Card Talk are Radagast Cunning, a one cost lore event, quest action, choose an enemy in the staging area. Until the end of the phase, that enemy does not contribute its threat. This is similar to the secret path, except for enemies. This card can be good in certain situations. It's perfect against Shelob in the saga, because her threat can get out of control. I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10 because they can be a savior in key times and the second card is for Gondor it's a two cost leadership event action until the end of the phase all characters get plus one attack and all Gondor characters also get plus one defense until the end of the phase. So you're spending two costs to give all your characters plus one attack. And if they're Gondor, you get the, also the defense of boost. So in multiplayer, this card is a perfect card, but the lower player count you get, the more costly it seems. But all in all, I'm going to give it a 5. Because I feel it can be a key point when you need it most. The restrictions for the quest are for deck 1. You have to have the Perilous Voyage contract. Your minimum deck size is 100 cards. Your threat cannot be reduced by player card effects. Exhaust this card to raise your threat by 1 to look at the top two cards of your deck. Draw one and place the other at the bottom of your deck. When you would be eliminated by reaching your threat elimination level, flip this card over. Your threat cannot be reduced by non-contract player card effects. Heroes you control do not exhaust a quest. When this card is flipped to this side, reduce your threat by 10. Search your deck for a card and either add it to your hand or play it reducing its Cost by three. Shuffle your deck. And quick beam. And for deck two, it's Gandalf. And this is the promo Gandalf from Second Breakfast. So if you like it, contact him and he'll send you one for free. And the uh, card Helm of Secrecy. It's a four cost neutral attachment uh, event and it's limit one per deck and you can Switch a hero, a non fellowship, non baggins hero with one from your collection that's the same cost or less 
than the chosen hero. And the quest we're going to be playing against is the Crossing of the Poros. Deck one, we have the Perilous Voyage deck. With heroes Quick Beam, a 12 threat tactics hero, 2, 4, 1, 5, Ent, cannot have restricted attachments, action. Deal two damage to Quick Beam to ready him. Limit once per phase. Radagast, an 11 threat lore hero. Two, two, three, four, Astari. You may use resources from Radagast's pool to pay for creature allies of any spear. And after you play a creature card, Radagast does not exhaust to quest this round. And what the new wording of this card is when you play creatures, Radagast is considered to have that spear. So it means you could pay for cards that cost zero. And Elrond. He's a 13 threat lore hero. Three, two, three, four, Noldor Noble. You may spend resources from Elrond's pool to pay for spirit, leadership, and tactics allies. Response. After a character is healed by Another card effect, heal one damage on it. So our starting threat is 36. And for deck two, we have Gandalf, a 14 threat neutral hero, 3, 3, 3, 5, Astari. Play with the top card of your deck face up. Once per phase, you may play the top card of your deck as if it were in your hand. When playing this card this way, Gandalf considered to have the printed leadership, lore, tactics, and spirit icons. Arwen and Domniel, a nine threat. Spirit Hero, 3, 1, 2, 3, Noldor Noble, Action, discard a card from your hand to add one resource to a Noldor Hero's resource pool or to Aragorn's resource pool. Limit once per round. So I could discard a card to give a resource to herself or to Elrond. And the third hero is... Grimbiorn the Old, a 11 threat tactics hero, 0335, Bjorning Warrior, Sentinel. Response After Grimbiorn the Old defends an attack, spend one resource from his pool to declare him as an attacker against that enemy and resolve his attack. The defending enemy gets minus two defense for this attack. And our starting threat is 34. Now I'm going to give everybody a heads up that this board state can get pretty crowded quickly.
set, chorus, garrison, and each of the following encounter sets aside out of play. Mountains of Shadow, Desert Sands, Desert Creatures, Harad Soldiers, and Mortar Orcs. The first player adds the Black Serpent to the staging area and shuffles the encounter deck. Each other player reveals an encounter card. We got the Black Serpent. It's 50 engagement cost. 0, 2, 1, 8, Harad. Do not leave the staging area or take damage. X is the stage number of the main quest. The Black Serpent gets plus X, threat, attack, and defense. Players at the beginning of the force at the beginning of the counter phase either remove X progress from the main quest or the Black Serpent makes an attack against the first player. And I have all the encounter sets aside off out of camera view because I don't have enough space to have them in view. We got the porous garrison that we set aside. Draw our opening hands. Evening star. Ioris. Eagles of the North. Eagles of the Misty Mountains. Ferial. Why here and Vilia. I'll keep this hand. Deck two. Support of the Eagles. Elrond's Council. Ranger Spikes. Dagger Westerness. Elven Light. And a Word of Command. I'll keep this hand as well. Now we have to reveal an encounter card. Herondor Waste. Word of Command. I'll put out Ioris. Comes into play exhausted. I'm going to play a word of command. I exhaust from a starry character, and I get to search my deck for a card. And I get out a Withered pipe. Now we're going to spend one to put a withered pipe. This deck is going to discard the card to give Elrond a resource. Now we're going to spend two and put Vilia. Elrond. Now we're going to look at the top, or switch the top card of our deck with a card in our hand. We're going to put Furiel back on top. And then we're going to put Exhaust, Elrond, and Vilia. We're not going to do that yet. It would just come into play Exhausted. Now we're going to 
go over to deck two. Put a golden belt. Okay, so now we're going to random one. First one is odd, second one's even. It's odd. So we're going to the desert. So we have to shuffle all cards from the set aside and counter set into play into the deck. And then we remove the Mountains of Shadow and Counter Set from the game. Each player, each ally each after a player plays an ally, that al you must either exhaust that ally or deal one damage to it. And when this is defeated, you go to random three. So now at the beginning of the questing phase. We're going to do Elrond and Vilia, Ferial, and it's put into play, so it's not played. So we're requesting for three, five, six, seven, eight, eleven against four. Let's see what Ferial shows. Uh, Southron. Uh, Southern Outrider, we'll get rid of him. Desert Oasis and a Orc Prowler. Either place a random enemy from the set aside mortar orcs and counter set into play, or he makes an immediate attack. He's attacking for four. And he will not be engaging us. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll have him make an attack. We'll block with Grimbjorn. No shadow. We'll attack back for one and deal three damage to it. And we take one damage. We make two progress. Now, we're not going to travel anywhere. And we'll remove two progress so the serpent doesn't attack. And go to the next round. We're going to spend two and play a Armored Destrier onto Grimbjorn. Now I'll go over to deck one. Giant bear. We're going to do with wizard pipe, tree beard. We're going to Put Eagles of the Misty Mountains back on top and play that with Elrond and Vilya. And now Radagast doesn't exhaust. 
We'll spend two and play a evening star. And put two progress onto the broader waste. Now we're going to quest. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Against two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. See what Furial shows? Desolate land. Um, we don't like that one. Desolate land. So that is a one, two, three, four, five, six. And he exhaustion. When revealed, each player exhausts a character and then deals one damage to it. So that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So we broke even. Now we're going to have to take this attack undefended. Either discard the highest cost attachment you control or assign X damage among characters where X is the number of attachments you control. So that's going to be one, two. And we take two damage. And go to the next round. None return. Now let's see what the wizard does. Flight of the Eagles. We're going to put the tree beard back on top and put him into play. Enters play exhausted. Here, going to play a Bilbo Baggins, and we get to search our deck for a pipe. Pipe. 
on to Gandalf. Put a dagger here. Giving him plus attack. And spend one resource from Radagas to heal up three. Now we're going to quest. Quest to deal the damage here. So we're questing for. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Against one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Towering Dunes. We'll let that go. Find water. Characters cannot be healed. Can, clerics cannot be ready by player card effects. When this stage is defeated, each player ready is a hero. And the Herador Waste. So that added two. Quest unsuccessfully by one. We're going to play an Elrond's console. Reduce the threat by three. And we quested now for 18. So we broke even. And this is, this is going to engage over here. And the Black Serpent is going to go undefended. If this attack destroys a character, it doesn't. We'll take two damage on Elrond. Now this guy's attacking will block with Grimbjorn. Attacking makes an additional attack. We'll spend one resource and Attack back and destroy it. And now we go to the next round. We're going to switch this with a word of command. Now we're going to exhaust the end off, play a word of command. We're going to search our deck for a card. We're going to get Northern Tracker. And we're going to discard a card to give our winner resource. Over to deck one. None return. 
gonna switch the top card of our deck. Bjorn Skin Changer. Now we're going to put a None Return back on top of our deck. I'm going to put a Skin Changer into play. We're not using Vilia. Now, questing. We're going to quest for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And we're going against fine water. We're on to waste and doom one. Choose one random card from the set aside encounter set with the most cards. Reveal it. As if we're just revealed from the encounter deck. So we have the more orcs of eleven and the Caradron soldiers have 11. We're going to take it from the Mordor orcs. Attached to an orc enemy. There's no orc enemies. So that added two. One, two, three. Make three progress. Now, traveling. I think it's worth going to here. When it comes to choose one random card from the set aside and counter set with the most cards remaining. So that's going to be the Harad. Southron Archer. Now, he's engaged. This is going to gauge here, and we'll knock out Bilbo. And Mordor Orcs will engage over here. And this is, goes undefended for the Black Serpent. Makes an additional attack. Undefended. No shadow, two damage. Now go to the counter phase, or the combat phase. We're going to block this. 
we're going to discard the Bjorning Skin Changer to put a bear into play. And I'll have to take a damage. And then we'll block with the Mortar Wog with the bear. Exhaust a character you control. Well, we don't have any characters to exhaust. Here we'll block with Grimbjorn. Return attacking enemy to the staging area. And we're going to spend one attack back for one, two, three, four, five. Pierce two, and he's destroyed. And we go to the next round. Uh, we're going to, before that, we're going to play this of none return. So he's actually removed from the game. And we'll look at the top card. Switch the top card with the card in our hand. Fly here up at the top, and we'll put him into play with Vilia. And we're going to play the Evening Star. For two, we put two progress here, and we have another one in our discard pile, so we can put two progress here. Now go over to here, draw a card. Whoa, Northern Tracker. I'll play this Northern. We're going to switch this with this. Uh, discard. Card. That. And get a resource here. Spend four. And put a res uh, Northern Tracker into play. And damage. And now we're going to quest against find water. And this one comes in with the damage. Radagast doesn't exhaust. So we're questing for three, four, five, or six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, or 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And this is explored, this is explored, and this is explored. We're going to leave Gandalf up. So we're questing for 17 against 1, 2, 3, 4. First card, Desolate Land. That is a 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And each player deals one, exhausts a character and deals one damage to it. Okay, so that is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we quest successfully by 4. Let's try to explore the desolate lands. Now do we want to travel? And we'll travel to here. And when it becomes the actual location, choose a random card from the remaining set aside encounter to set with the most ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're gonna choose the Mordor Orcs. Each ally in play gets minus one to all their stats. Fine. And this is going to go in Undefended. Either discard the highest cost attachment or assign X damage among characters where X is the number of attachments you control. So that's going to be one, two. So we'll assign two damage. And then we take two damage on quick beam. Now the water walks attacking will block with Grimbyorn. No shadow. Spend one and he's destroyed. Go to the next round. Going to switch these two and play a northern tracker from the top of my deck. Discard this to give Arwen a resource and spend it to put the Thor's key to play. We have to take a damage over here. Over here we'll Vassal, look, switch with the top, Willie Thor. Uh, 
we're going to put this top here and we'll do Elrond and we're going to put a burning brand onto Radagast. I'm going to spend one putting a Vassal into play and exhaust them. But now Radagast doesn't exhaust. And we're going to spend one resource and heal up three damage from Radagast with Iorth. Now, questing. We're going to quest for one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17. Eighteen, nineteen against one, two, three, four. What does Furiel show us? We're going to keep it and it makes an immediate attack. We'll block the Trimbjorn. And if the attack destroys the character, it doesn't. We'll spend one to attack back and it's destroyed. Card two, a desert wog. Either gain surge or shuffle a random enemy from the desert creatures encounter set. We'll have it gain surge. This one, either random enemy from the encounter Makes an immediate attack. We'll block with Radagast against the against the first player. We'll shuffle in a creature. Or put a creature in the discard scorpion. Now we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we quest successfully by ten, four here, and we clear the find water. And now we can each ready a hero. We're going to ready up Radagast and Grimbjorn. This is explored. Now we're going to travel to the desert oasis. And we have to exhaust two characters now. We're going to exhaust Northern Tracker. And Giant bear. And when it's explored, we can heal up to four damage. Now, this does, guy doesn't have to engage us. This one's engaging over here. And the black serpent's attacking. We'll block the black serpent with. Grimbjorn. 
This is ten, doesn't destroy character. No damage. And now this will block with Radagast. We'll cancel that with Burning Brand. Let me take two damage. Now attacking back. We are not going to attack back. Go to the next round. Booming Ant. Exit. Look at the top. Switch as a card in our deck. Okay. Now we're going to put a booming ant into play. He enters play exhausted, and we have to deal a damage to him. Put a willy door into play. Deal a damage. And one resource to heal up three damage from Quick Beam, and that heals up four. Over here. We're going to play the Ministress Lamprite and enter his play exhausted. We're going to switch that with a Reforged. Discard this to give. R win a resource and spend one, two, three, and put a shadow fax on the candor. Now questing. Where are we going? There's one, two, three, four, five in the staging area, and we're gonna go towards we got the main quest now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three against five, 
Towering Dunes. And uh, Southern Outrider. So that added a total of five. Quest successfully by 13. Clears this. We get a heal up. Four damage from one characters. So that's one, two, three, four. This is explored. And now we go to a random three. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a five. So one, two, three, four, five. Orc patrols. Win reveal. Set each other side three stage three A aside out of play. Shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. And the Mordor Orc discard encounter set into the encounter deck. Then each player reveals an encounter card. So this is the Mordor Orcs. They get shuffled in, and then the other two encounter sets are removed from the game. Reveal counter cards. The Yurik Chieftain. And each ally gets minus one to all its stats until the end of the round. Three B. Fifteen quest points. Orc Patrol gets plus two quest points for each enemy in the staging area. After an enemy engages a player raise, that player is threat by one. Now, engagement. We still don't have to engage this guy. We can't be absolutely engaged. And at the end of the encounter phase, Yurik Chieftain engages the player who is engaged with the most orc. So we're going to have to engage him if we want him to come down. We're going to engage this guy over here. So first off, we engage this one here and this one. We're actually engaging this one. This one will come down on its own, and he comes down. And we have to take attack from this guy. We will block with the Radagast. No damage. And now we're going to block this guy with Crimbjorn, return attacking the enemy to the staging area. We're going to spend one to destroy it and then remove this shadow card. Now this one's attacking for five.
This guy is also attacking, or actually, this guy. Here. here. We're moving this shadow card from that one. So it's the same shadow card. Now this is attacking for three. This is attacking without a shadow card. A block, a desert log with Grim Bjorn, he takes two damage. Attacking for five. Gonna ready up. Oh, block with the block with the bear. Either discard the highest cost attachment or deal damage equal the number of attachments. The bear has two defense, so he takes three damage. And we have one, two, three attachments. Deal out three damage. We'll deal it all here. And now, this guy's attacking for three. We'll block, we're ready up, playing two, ready up tree beard, block him, and when he engages you, you have to set a random from the set aside for rod soldiers, or he gets plus three. Random oh, enemy. Okay, now we're blocking with tree beard. It gets plus one. So it's tag for four, we take two damage. Now it's our turn to attack back. We're not engaged with any enemies, any orc enemies, so this guy can get destroyed, take damage. We need nine. Ready up, tree beer for four, for three. And Gandalf can come in for three, so that's six. And spend two to ready up quick beam. So we're gonna six. That would be ten. We'll attack and destroy the chieftain. And then we're gonna play a None return, and he's gone. Now, we have four more to attack. We're not going to do any more attacking. So we will spend a resource to keep Willie Dorn in play. And go to the next round. And we had to engage our threat by three over here.
gonna go over to here, draw a card. Raise our threat by one to look at the top two cards. Take one to put in our hand and discard the other. We'll put a booming end into our hand and the other one at the bottom of our deck. We're going to switch a card with hand. Put it on top. Resources, spend two and put a booming ant into play. The ant is play exhausted. We no longer have to damage them. Are actually going yeah. and tree beard gets a resource. Now we're gonna spend two to put a wing guardian into play. Now Radagast doesn't exhaust. Now we're gonna quest. There is a total of three, four, five, six in the staging area. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 19 against 6. Uh, desolate lands. We can take it and then we'll put a Thor's key onto it. So it's zero threat, it can just sit there forever. And now Doom 1. Choose one random card from the set aside encounter set with the most cards and reveal it. So that's going to be. Here, the first player discards cards from the counter deck until an enemy is discarded and puts that enemy into play and engage with them. Okay, that goes here. It's the log rider, so we have to raise our threat by one. So we added zero threat, so we make. 13 progress. And now we're going to take off three so that Serpent doesn't attack us. He's attacking for three. We can block with Willy Door. Oh, it's, it would get plus. Yeah, we'll still block with Willy Door. It gets Willy Door is destroyed and it goes underneath here. 
Oh, it wasn't from. It was from this one. And it makes an additional attack. We'll block with the Wing Guardian. Return attacking enemies to the staging area. And the Wing Guardian is destroyed and goes underneath here. Now we're going to block this one with Crimbjorn. It gets plus one, plus two instead if the attacking enemy has greater willpower. If the if its threat is greater than the defending carry, so it's attacking for five. We're going to spend this and exhaust Iorth to heal up these three. So now, attacking for five, we have three de defense, so we take two damage. And we ready up and remove this shadow card. And then we'll block this, attack for five. We'll block with Gandalf for two and just two damage. Now attacking back. Bear is attacking for four, and Quick Beam is attacking, or Booming Ants attacking for one, two, three, four, five. So let's see, Loma can destroy this one, and the Giant Bear and the Vassal will destroy the other one. Now we go to the next round. Flight of the Eagles, we're going to raise our threat by one. So look at the top two cards. Put this into our hand, this goes to the bottom, and now actions happen. We hit the 50 threat, so we flip this contract over. Your threat cannot be reduced by nine contract player card effects. Heroes you control do not exhaust a quest. When this card is flipped to this side, reduce your threat by 10. Search your deck for a card and either add it to your hand or play it, reducing its cost by 3. Shuffle your deck. We are going to get where's Land Revol? Land Revol. I'll put Land Revol into play for the cost of two. Now
This right now has a plus three to all its stats. Over here, we draw a card. Now first, we can switch with the top card of our deck. Sulian. We'll put a Sulian and play Sulian. And off staff. We're going to switch these two. And then we're going to spend two and put Gandalf's staff here. We're actually going to discard a card to give a resource here and use one of those to pay for it. Now we're going to quest. We don't exhaust over here. And we need five. And there's one, two, three. We actually need nine. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. This is going to be explored. A six. And we're questing for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two. Twenty two against six. Each player either discards his hand or assigns X damage one character's controls is equal to the number of cards in his hand. We have one, two, three, so deal three damage. Deal here, and then over here we have two. We'll deal it here. Now, card two. Eurix of the Eye. Surge. Orc enemies in the staging area get minus five engagement costs, and each orc enemy engaged with the player gets plus one threat. That surges. Doom one. Choose a random card from the set aside encounter set with the most cards and reveal it as if it were just revealed from the top of the encounter deck. South Ron Archer. So we added two. So we quest it successfully by 14. So to 24. And this was 2, 4, 6, 21. So we go to the next stage. Four B. Battle at the garrison. Or battle at the crossroads. When revealed, the first player takes control of Paris Garrison, search the encounter deck and discard pile for each enemy that belongs to the encounter set icon by the first icon on each set aside stage three. 
and add them to the staging area. Shuffle the encounter deck. So it's going to be all the desert creatures and all the Harad. And the first player gets the Paris Garrison. Four B. Forced. After the an enemy attacks and destroys a character, remove X progress from this stage. X is attacking enemy's printed threat. This stage cannot be defeated except by the end of the combat phase. If this player is defeat this stage, they win the game. And I might not have removed progress last turn from the counter the main quest that I made three more than I needed. So I don't don't think it would have mattered. So all these are engaging. We don't get it. We don't have to raise our threat now. So this engages, he discards a ally. So we'll have him engage over here and we'll get rid of this lamp right. And we want to optionally engage anything over here. We'll take the scorpion. Now they come down on their own. This is going to come down here, and this one's going to come down here. And this is now up to a four, and it makes an attack. And we're going to block the four with. Well, I've readied up tree beard. Block it with tree beard. Return attacking enemy to the staging area, so we take one damage. Now deal out shadow cards. Attacking for five, we'll block with the Misty Mountains, who's got five defense. No shadow, no damage. And this attacking for three. We will block with the bear. Exhaust the character you control. We will exhaust Elrond. Over here, we're going to block and gets plus one. His attacking enemy has greater, so he'll be attacking for four. 
the block with, well, I remove this shadow card with Gandalf's staff, and then block him to take one damage. And then ready and remove this. And block him and spend a resource and he's gone. And we have two archery to take. One here, one here. Now our turn to attack back. We can attack back for four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That destroys this guy. And attack for three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And that destroys this one. And over here. We will not do anything and go to the next round. Raise a threat by one to throw, look at two cards. Actually, we're past that. Can't do that anymore. So we're not going to look at cards. We'll reveal the top one. Now we can put one back on top. Now, it doesn't matter what we do, he's not going to exhaust. Now we go over to here. We're just going to discard a northern tracker to give Elrond a resource. Play, switch these two, and play one, two, and put a cut ranger spikes into the staging area. Now we're going to quest. With a total of four, five, four in the staging area. And we're going to quest for two progress here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. And play uh, Gildor's console, and we only reveal one encounter card. We're going to spend this, reduce our threat by three. 
34. And then we're going to spend this and exhaust Iorath to heal up 3 damage from Radagast. And we only revealing one. Each ally gets minus one. Oh, do we want to get rid of that with Ferial? Let's see how it would do. There's four here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It would bring us. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. We're going to get rid of that with Fury All and reveal this. The Mordor Waste. So that adds 2 up to 6. So we quest successfully by 25, and we only needed 20. And now we're going to remove four so he doesn't attack us. So we're down to 21, and there's no enemies. So there's a win. Hope you enjoyed watching. Have a great day.